Speaking of tyranny, let's talk a little bit about the TSA. Today, Paul Joseph Watson posted an article on Infowars.com titled, TSA rescinds approval to film in response to opt-out campaign. The TSA has reacted to a national campaign encouraging people to opt out and film TSA procedures by removing a page on its website which admitted that recording security checkpoints is not prohibited. Basically, they've yanked it off their site. This uh, coincides, uh, they've obviously known about our outreach campaign that we're doing in late November. It's called uh, the Opt Out and Film Week that's taking place on November, from November the 19th to November the 26th, Thanksgiving weekend, where we're encouraging listeners, we're encouraging view viewers to film TSA officials and uh, to keep them accountable. You're on public grounds, you're on um, you are not on private property. You are on taxpayer-funded property. These are public servants, and you have every right in the world to film these individuals. So uh, Paul Joseph Watson is insinuating that this took place because of our opt-out program and our film, our film program, film the TSA. And so they're doing everything they can to prevent us from uh, from doing this so we encourage people I'm, I'm gonna be doing it that week to go to your local airport you don't have to have an airport ticket obviously when you check somebody out a family member and they're traveling you could still enter the airport you don't have to be traveling so bring your camera film these public servants and um, let's see what occurs but there was recently a film and it was posted on infowars.com today of an individual in Puerto Rico who was filming the TSA and they basically harassed him for about 10 minutes for filming. After 10 minutes, he, they, they took his camera. He told them, give me my camera back. I'm gonna call the police. They finally realized that what they were doing was unlawful, and but they did erase most of the confrontation before they gave him back the camera, but he still was able to keep about 11 seconds of the confrontation and we're going to go to that video right now. Oh, hey, you, you can. You can. Really? I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Don't touch. Don't touch. You can. I can touch. So there you go. Like godlike creatures, they tell you do not film them. They're godlike creatures. You're not allowed to film them. A complete violation of people's First Amendment. Again, these are public servants. Your salary, your, your tax dollars pay for their salary. That's like an employer walking into his business and, and their, uh, his employees say, what are you doing? Don't question me. Uh, these people work for you. So we encourage you on November the 19th through the 26th, just take a little camera. You don't have to have a plane ticket. You don't have to be going anywhere. And just film the TSA. And by the way, try uh, wearing some of those TSA uh, T-shirts that we have on InfoWarsShop.com. We have shirts that say, end the TSA, TSA groping since 2001. It's okay. You can politely mock them. You know, you don't have to... Um, be afraid of them. These are public servants and they work for us. And there you go, you've got some TSA shirts right there that we've got on InfoWarsShop.com and the TSA. TSA uh, groping since 2001. That's a popular one here at the studio. Uh, so feel free to get one of those shirts when you, when you go film these individuals. Again, you're doing nothing wrong. Courts have said that it's completely lawful to videotape these individuals as long as you obviously don't go into the terminal and pass the security point. And uh, that'll be a great thing to do. I'll be doing that come late November. Uh, and this also comes on the heels of other video of another video that we showed last week of TSA officials telling uh, visitors at airports to stop on command, almost like a lap dog, and they would just tell people to stop. And here's video on Infowars.com of the godlike creatures, the TSA, uh, telling members of the public to freeze on command, like like uh, golden retrievers. And look at what the sheep will do. Some of them very nice people. They don't want to create a ruckus. Other people just in a complete trance-like state, just doing whatever the TSA officials tell them. There you go. You're allowed to move. God has given you authority to move. And they, you know, people just uh, follow, follow them. So um, there you go. Let's keep an eye on the TSA. And uh, speaking of the tyranny that the TSA... Uh, partakes in. In other news, this was also on Infowars.com, TSA hired defrocked Camden Priest without a background check. According to this article, the TSA hired the former priest before, 
before completing a background check, the agency recently confirmed. According to a church document, the diocese revealed to the TSA in 2003 as part of the background check that Harkins, his name is Thomas Harkins, um, had been removed from ministry because of allegations. He had molested two grade school girls. Harkins was never criminally prosecuted, but the diocese settled civil lawsuits for $195 thousand dollars so there you go that's who you have there and from what the article says it says that he's received promotions he's received promotions and he should he should that's what you know if you like uh, gr groping people and touching people's genitals uh, your TSA material your TSA material so that what Thomas Harkin um, has received promotions and I think his salary is up to about seventy six thousand dollars so there you go that's who's uh, protecting you um, and in other TSA news, uh, ABC recently reported that an individual by the name of Pythias Brown, he's a convicted TSA officer, reveals secrets of thefts at airports. According to Mr. Pythias Brown, he, is a, he says it was very commonplace, very commonplace. He's a former TSA officer at Newark's Liberty International Airport in New Jersey. He was uh, a former TSA officer. He admits he stole more than $800,000 worth of items from luggage and security checkpoints over a four-year period. Mr. Brown says, quote, it was very convenient to steal, and the only reason why he got caught is because he put uh, a camera on eBay, and it had the CNN sticker on it. He stole a CNN camera, and it had the uh, CNN sticker on it. Uh, but he says $800,000, that's just what he got caught with. He probably stole well over a million dollars. Now, the TSA is saying that only about 1% of their representatives has been uh, um, prosecuted for theft. But again, that's only people who have been prosecuted against. According to Mr. Brown, he says, again, it was very convenient and common to steal. Uh, Alex has talked about on his radio show how uh, they stole... Um, some of his kid items, some of the items of his kid. I think a, a toothing ring, if that's what you call it, a very expensive uh, Tiffany rattle, a Tiffany rattle. And uh, so this is a very common practice. Uh, TSA is saying only about 1% of their individuals do this. But if only 1% could steal millions of dollars worth of items, that is a very, very serious issue. So again, participate in our outreach effort that we're doing in late November to out these individuals. Not all TSA people are bad people. As a matter of fact, most of them are probably good people, but there is a large minority of them that uh, just, they get off on groping people. So there you go.